know that I'm the person with a target on my back and that all these girls have been studying me for a very long time. Title on the line. My mindset with every camp is to improve much more than my opponent ever possibly could. Oh my goodness! I know I'm going to retire undefeated. Ronda Rousey remains the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion! I am going to beat all the girls that anyone mentions as opposition for me. It's all over! I'm going to take everybody out one by one, and then I'm going to go about my merry way. There has never been a female combat sport athlete that is as dominant as Ronda Rousey has been as the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. She's just a destroyer. Oh, beautiful job, Lance. Her judo technique is the best in mixed martial arts. Her armbar technique is the best in mixed martial arts. And I'm not just saying in the women's division, I'm saying in mixed martial arts. She's looking it for it. She got it. it. It's all over. Once again, armbar finish for the champion, Ronda Rousey. She's Jack Paul Trace. There's someone who can just go out there and go in and get an armbar, which we all know she can do. She has a lot of other tools in her tool belt. And she's developing those so well that she's going to be able to do pretty much what she wants to do when she wants to do it. She's a more dangerous fighter. She's healthier than ever. She's stronger than ever. She feels better than ever. And her boxing is as good as I always say. It's good as her judo. My fighting style is evolving, and I feel like I'm still developing and improving with every single fight. Last fight was a 16-second knockout. Good right hand. hand. Ronda. And a big throw down. This is crazy. Can she do it right here? It is it. all over. Just like She's focused, she's driven, she's everything you would want in a champion, and there's never been a single female as dominant as she is. We put in a lot of thought for her to be a special champion, and we're gonna keep on doing that until the day she retires undefeated. Kat Singano is a woman who's been waiting in the wings, is a woman who's seen what the top of the mountain looks like, and is trying and desperately clawing and scratching to get her way to where Ronda Rousey is right now. This is an opportunity presented to me, you know, about two years ago at this point, you know? So I've had to think about her for a long time and think about fighting her and think about standing across from her. You know, I've been the number one contender for over a year and I just felt like I needed to come back and make a statement and have them stop talking about all these other opponents. I was sick of, of being pushed to the side. Kat Zingano, back for the first time in 17 months. I wanted to be relevant. I wanted to make sure I put on a good performance that people wouldn't forget. Whoa! Beautiful throw! Zingano looking for a finish oh, here. Big shots by Zingano. More elbows for Kat Zingano. And it's That's all it. over! That's it. Kat Zingano wins her UFC return. That comeback was really important. Ah! I needed to be heard loud and clear. This puts you in a position to challenge Ronda Rousey for the Bantamweight title of the world. I got nothing but respect for this sport. It's my time. I'm ready. This is a classic fight between two of the very best human fighters in the world. And in my opinion, this would be the most difficult fight that Ronda Rousey has ever had inside the octagon. I have a lot of respect for her talent and her technique, but I don't think I've seen any girl out there that that can just beat me up. She's back to her knees now, and the knees again from Zingano. And how much more can Misha take, take? And that'll go, and that'll do it. When you look at Kat Zingano's skill set, her striking is exceptional. She has outstanding Muay Thai. Kat is also very good on the ground. I think that she's a great person and a real elite athlete, but what really comes down to it isn't who you think is the better or nicer person. It's who is the better fighter that night. Maybe she is a better or nicer person than me, but I'm still the greatest fighter in the world. The fans that are so excited to see and think that Kat Zingano might get the best of Ronda, it's not gonna happen, Ronda's gonna demolish her. There's a huge part of me that wants to take on every one of her strengths and beat her at it. I want my wrestling to crush her judo. You and this cat is absolutely perfect and she does everything perfectly. I'm gonna train so hard and be so well prepared that 
perfect for her still isn't good enough. I expect the unexpected. I go out there ready. I don't know what's coming at me, so I'm going to get her first. I could finish a fight in any and all ways, but it's going to be a finish. This is going to be one epic fight, and we're going to see that I'm the best in the world. I'm not leaving that cage unless I'm the champion, and that's it. There's a lot of excitement surrounding Holly Holm and her debut in the UFC. I'm so thrilled to be able to fight with UFC and be part of it. I want to make the best of it, that's it. Holly Holm certainly has a very exciting style for men. I, for one, can't wait to see it. She's a world-class striker. So her being the co-main event, 100% it's a title eliminator, especially if she can get a big knockout win. In boxing, I had titles in three separate weight classes. I was nominated for an SB, the fighter of the year. Her final boxing match, what a performance, and what a legendary career. Now I have a passion for this. I've been boxing for 11 years, and I want to climb in the mountain. Passion first, and everything else will fall into place. Nobody's gonna be a champ in both. So I have something I can shoot for. Why not be the best of both? No one else has done it, but Holly deserves it. But I think people are gonna enjoy it with just watching her fight and what she can do. Shush! 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 Holly trains at Jackson's MMA, where she has world-class coaches around her all the time. And they're constantly bringing in opponents to challenge her. Somebody attack. Work the score here, guys. Work the score. Let's go. A lot of people, I think, have this conception. Don't stand with Holly. She just wants to box. I wouldn't have come to MMA if I wanted to just box. I would love for people in the future to be like, watch out for all these takedown. Watch out for all these clinch game. That's what's fun about MMA. Nice. Holly, she's done great things in her boxing career, but I don't think she's truly faced that challenge in MMA. Pennington has such great technique and great power. Raquel is a, a very game fighter. She's going to bring the fight to Holly. Nice. I'm not going to sit there and box with a boxer, but I'm also not worried if we actually stand there and bang. At the end of the day, I think I'm a better fighter when it comes to it. She has knockout ability in both hands. She's had a lot of experience with more of the ranked girls than me. I feel like she's very comfortable in the cage. She's got a pretty good clinch game. There's things to watch out for her, for sure. For the Ultimate Fighter, my prelim fight was against Jessman Duke, where we won fight of the season. It was a war. We just beat the crap out of each other. We got compared to the Stefan Bonner and Forrest Griffin fight. It was kind of cool to be a female version of that. Dana got excited off of it. He came up and talked to me. Great fight, great fight. I was really impressed with Raquel. She's a hell of a counterpuncher. She hits hard. And uh, I like her. I like her a lot. She, it's going to be fun to watch her fight. A lot of people really like my style and what I bring, and it's always an exciting fight. Raquel Pennington with the takedown. Outstanding. I want to be a world champion. I was a five-time champion as an amateur. Now being into the UFC, my ultimate goal is about. Raquel's going to show everyone that day why she's on the cold main event, because Raquel is a tough Fighter. Her hands are going to be doing the talking. It's going to be a sad night for Holly Holm. Connected big power here. She's sitting here riding this huge hype train. She has all the pressure. It kind of makes it more fun for me. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fight my fight, and I will do anything it takes that night to win. She's got the bulldog choke. It's it. She wins it. Do I feel expectation? Absolutely. I want to make everybody's belief in me worth it. So I just try and stay focused on tasting the victory.